what's up, it's Danielle. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about why I don't have New Year's resolutions. Now, obviously every new year, everybody starts like going ape shit and they're like, oh my God, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and I'm gonna get so much stuff done this year. And a lot of the times people do not follow through with those things. Generally, I think it's because they either you know, their motivation starts to dwindle or it's because, you know, stress takes over in their life, which those are both very understandable things, especially, you know, the whole motivation thing. I know that it takes a lot for me to get stuff done sometimes just because I would rather just lay in bed and, you know, read articles on Cracked or watch documentaries here on YouTube. But anyways, I haven't had New Year's resolutions for 2017 and I'm not going to have them for 2018 either or any other year going forward because I think that they're pointless. So let me kind of back up and try, I guess, to explain to you guys why I have, you know, this, this preference, I guess you could call it. So Last year, I apologize for the lighting, it's getting weird in here, but last year, I was at a very weird part of my life, I guess you could say. I had just graduated from college in December of 2016, so I was coming off of that high. I had moved back to Houston, and you know, it was my time to try and find a job. And, you know, I was 23, I was like, yeah, man, things are gonna happen. And I basically had that mindset for the entire year. And I thought back to all the other years when I had made New Year's resolutions, which was basically every year, and they were always the same, and nothing ever happened. And I just remember saying to myself, what is the point if I'm not going to actually get it done? So I pretty much decided at that point that I wasn't going to even bother. And it turns out that I had one of the best years of my life. So kind of recap for y'all. So like I said, I, you know, was coming off of graduating from the year before and I ended up having a job which didn't work out and then I ended up getting a job at Walgreens and I was able to reconnect with a bunch of my friends that I had made the year before when I worked at the same one. So that part I really really love because they helped me get through a lot of stuff and I actually worked there longer than I ever had you know previously it was about like eight months so I think that's right eight months or so no that's whatever I think it was like six or seven months but still I you know was able to reconnect with all of them and I really kind of solidified in my mind at least where I wanted my channel to go and you know then that kind of blossomed into what you know what I've been doing ever since <laughs> and basically just you know evaluating my life consistently and then as you all know I got a new job and I moved here to Pennsylvania and actually I have been <clears throat> excuse me I've been here for over a month now and I am incredibly happy my best friend is only an hour away and you know I can hang out with her pretty much whenever I want. I get four days off a week and you know I'm just I'm happy because I have my own apartment that I love and I'm actually dating somebody. So there's just been a lot of great things that have happened in 2017. Don't get me wrong, there's been a lot of shit that's happened in 2017 that I would prefer to never experience again. But, oh yeah, one last thing that I forgot to add to that was I did end up losing about 50 pounds last year. So as you can tell, I mean, there's a lot of great stuff that transpired last year. And 
I kind of feel like if I would have had New Year's resolutions, a lot of it wouldn't have come to be. Particularly like the whole weight loss thing. I know a lot of people struggle with that. I'm no different. You guys know that I have, you know, an eating disorder. I struggle with binge eating and I was actually bulimic once upon a time. So it is definitely something that is hard to keep in check, but I've actually been managing it really, really well, especially towards like the end of 2017. I think, again, it has a lot to do with being happier and just loving my life a lot more. But anyways, I always had noticed that one of my New Year's resolutions was always to lose X amount of weight. And you know, if you, it's not, it's not that hard to figure out, but my self-esteem is not where I would like it to be. It's a hell of a lot better than when I was younger. I will say that, but for the most part, my self-esteem is not where I want it to be. And, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where every single year when I would sit down and I would be like, okay, I'm going to lose weight, you know, my self-esteem wasn't the best and I would always end up failing. And obviously that's on me, but I think it's also because of the stress I put on myself. So that's another thing that I want to address is that if you are, you know, always in a stressed state, which I'm sure a lot of us are, you know, we got a lot of things going on. You have work, you have like extracurricular activities, like maybe you volunteer or something, or maybe you help out at your kid's school, you know, you have kids, or maybe you're taking care of your parents or, you know, your partner's parents or something. Maybe you are fostering children or animals. You know, there's just, there's so many things in our life that create extra stress. And I've come to find that when I don't pile on the stress of having a New Year's resolution, I actually do a hell of a lot better. So, the biggest example I can give with this is obviously the weight loss. Like I said, last year I lost 50 pounds and you know there were a couple of other things that I was doing in conjunction with that that actually helped me. But for the most part, I th really do believe that because I didn't make losing weight a New Year's resolution, I was actually able to do it, if that makes sense. Now, that just is what worked for me. I know obviously different people operate differently. So, you know, it really just kind of depends. But for the most part, I will not be making New Year's resolutions ever again because I really do believe that if you wanted something badly enough, you would already be trying to do it. You wouldn't be, you know, waiting for the first day of a new year to come around and be like, okay, this is when I'm going to start. You would just start right then and there when you make the decision. Another thing is, you know, it's always a beautiful thing to want to be dynamic in your life. Obviously, we are human and I think everybody strives to be a better version of themselves than what they were previously. But, you know, we don't like to be static. Basically, if you're being static, then you're not growing, you're not changing, you're not adapting, you're not, you know, kind of moving along with the times, which I understand you can't always be like that. But, you know, if you can do it just a little bit in some areas of your life, I think it's a beautiful thing. And it really shows, you know, the type of person that you are. So I really think that you are capable of growing as a person without making these stupid New Year's resolutions. Everybody 
right now on YouTube has a video. Oh, these are my New Year's resolutions. These are my New Year's goals. Blah, 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 blah. Gonna talk about 2017 in review, which is totally fine. You know, don't get me wrong. But for me personally, I look at those videos and I'm like, that's bullshit. Because how many of you are actually gonna stick with that? And another thing I also found was that with making those resolutions, I made a lot of excuses for myself. I think one year, maybe it was like 2016 or something, I said, oh yeah, you know, I want to, um, or was it 20, I think it was going into 2016, I was like, oh yeah, I want to lose weight. And then at the end of the year, I kind of did a recap video and I was like, <clears throat> excuse me, well, you know, I lost a pound, so that counts as losing weight. No, no, that's that's not what I should have been doing. Then again, I was younger back then, so with age comes wisdom, you know, but that's probably the first thing. The second thing is that why we rely on New Year's resolutions to kind of change us is beyond me because like I said you should be willing to get up and go you know right when you make the decision to start something I know with some things I am that way with a lot of other things I'm like hell no I'm not doing that right now I don't feel comfortable so it really just you know just kind of depends but anyways the other thing I want to mention is that we all know that the success rate of actually following through with New Year's resolutions is pretty much like in the toilet. I mean, there's, I think they say, what is it? It's like 30% or something of people who make New Year's resolutions actually keep them and fulfill them. So, you know, it's just like, you got that huge 70%, which a majority of us are a part of. And, you know, I think it's kind of interesting how we're always like, oh, it's okay, I'll just try again next year. And then the next year rolls around and we just do the same thing all over again and we haven't learned anything. So, basically, my whole thing is we, <clears throat> excuse me, as people, we generally tend to look forward a lot, which is totally fine. I mean, you can't, you know, can't know where you're going unless you're looking forward. But we basically do not take things one day at a time. And we don't tell ourselves that, hey, tomorrow is a new day. I can try again. And as weird as it seems, that is one of the best things that I learned from having an eating disorder is that, you know, even if today was bad, tomorrow can always be better and I can always actively try to make it better. So, you know, that kind of ties into the whole year's resolution thing where you pretty much shouldn't wait. You know what I mean? It's like what I've been saying this whole video. Don't wait to get shit done. Just start doing it now. Obviously, some things you're going to be more motivated to do than others. But, you know, as long as you get to where you want to be eventually, I think you'll be okay. But anyways, I know this has been a weird video. <laughs> I know you guys are probably like, what is this girl smoking? <clears throat> Excuse me. But I hope you can kind of understand what I'm saying. I personally believe that I do better in life without having New Year's resolutions, without the added stress. And, you know, last year I think is proof of that. So, if you want, join me in my anti New Year's resolutions thing and we will be successful together. But, you know, you don't have to. I'm just throwing out a different opinion. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, and a beautiful new year. I definitely did. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I bought like a 
I bought the biggest bottle of Jägermeister and it was hilarious because I was so determined to have just like one or two shots with my best friend and then we didn't end up drinking it at all because we had tea instead. So <laughs> I basically went there with a full bottle and I came back with a full bottle. So whatever. What can I say? I'm not a fan of alcohol. But let's make, <clears throat> excuse me, 2018 the best year yet. Let's you know, be motivated to do things. And I apologize because throughout this entire video, I have sounded like Tony Robbins. So for that, I do apologize. It's not really my jam, but you know, let's get shit done this year. You guys like, let's do it. You know, if you want to graduate from school, come on, let's do it. Let's go. Let's get it. If you want to, you know, get a new job. Come on, let's do it. I'm very, very tired of, <clears throat> excuse me, people who are like, oh, you know, I can't, I can't do this yet or whatever the case may be. You know, sometimes you can't control that, but if you can't control it and you're complaining that, you know, it's, that you can't do it yet, then it's like, why are you talking to me? <clears throat> Excuse me, but anyways, let's get shit done this year. Let's have an amazing 2018. Like I said in previous videos, I believe in you and so does every dog in the universe. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys. We are